Right now, let's bring the man in who gives us the details in the world of weather. W-O-W, Pat Pagano. Good morning, Pat. And a good morning to you, Marshall. And uh, we have to start with the most important um, news first, and that is the fact that the town where my cabin is has issued the permit to build out. There you go. So that occurred yesterday. Thank God for that. It's all done. So uh, I'm happy about that. And I believe they're going to be start, starting to work very shortly. We'll find out. Uh, weather-wise, well, Hurricane Fiona is not a major hurricane. Uh, Cat 4, 135 mile per hour winds. And moving away from the Turks and the Caicos and moving toward Bermuda. Just how close it comes to Bermuda will determine how bad it could be. But the thing that bothers me right now, it looks to me like the eye is going to go just to the west of Bermuda. And we all know that the eastern semicircle of any tropical system contains most of the rain and wind. So how close it it passes to the west of Bermuda is um, a very important thing. And that will happen sometime later tomorrow. So we'll have more details on that as it works uh, uh, northeastward. Now we have Tropical Storm Gaston, that is in the North Atlantic, moving northeastward away. We have another system that's developing uh, just to the east of the Leeward Islands, and uh, that could be the next one. I believe it's Hermine or Hermini. I don't know how you pronounce that. I think it is. I'm not even sure. Um would do you know how you would pronounce that? Hermione is or how's it spelled? Uh, let's see. I'm looking to see how the National Weather Service. It is spelled H E R M I N E. I would say Hermione. Remember, Hermione? Mem- remember the famous person, Hermione Gingold, the Hermione the, the, Gingold, the, the, yes. the comic, the comic character. So yeah. that's that's okay. the only, that's the only reason. Uh, it's not a scientific reason or it's not an intelligent reason, but that's the only reason I would say Hermione. <laughs> Hermione Gingold. Hermione Gingold. Okay, so that's what I think that will be named. And that we have to watch. And a reason for it, uh, I looked at like the three models uh, this morning. That is the Canadian, the American, and the Euro. It's a tropical system. We all know that you can't possibly predict long range what will happen to a tropical system, but the models try. Now, the American GFS model uh, uh, brings it into the Gulf of Mexico and then sort of stretches it out east and stays to our south. The Canadian model brings it smashing into the Gulf Coast. And the European model brings it across Florida and up the East Coast. So all three models, completely different scenario. So we're just going to leave that on the back burner for now and not worry about it and concentrate on the fact that today is the last summer day um, of 2022, partly sunny, mid-70s. Someone uh, questioned me this morning and said, well, you said it's the last summer day, but technically tomorrow is. I said, well, no. And they said, well, you know, uh, uh, fall doesn't arrive till nine, nine something tomorrow night. So, you know, again, during the day tomorrow, it's still summer. I said, yes, but you have to consider, quote, day as up to midnight. You know, that's when the day changes or the day changes. So basically, um, we had a small little tiff there. But I think tonight showers will come in after midnight, well after midnight. Low 60s, we will have showers, and there could be some late clearing Thursday. Mid-60s for the high. We drop to the 40s Thursday night. Partly sunny with a cool wind, mid-60s Friday. Sunny Saturday, mid-60s. Saturday morning could be the coldest morning where you will see some 30s. And then on Sunday, you'll start with a little sun. The clouds come in, and by later in the day, a chance of showers. And showers will be with us from late Sunday into early next week. Now, are we, uh, is this a 
Are we, are we going to now probably stay with the majority of fall type temperatures from now on? Do you think? No. Okay. Nope. Um, I, I see us going right back into the seventies. You know, we'll have cool downs from time to time, but this is not in any way. I mean, this is like a a two day um, cool spell. You know, and then it miles right up again because Sunday our temperature should be about 70, maybe even 75, depending upon how quick the clouds will be. So, you know, uh, at this time of the year, uh, the normal is what? The normal 74. Yeah. So, you know, we'll be right back to seasonable temperatures come Sunday and maybe even Monday as well. And 52 is the normal low. Um, so, uh, so there we have that with the, with the weather, the tropics. Uh, the permit for the cabin. And uh, as you all know, I announced a while back that this is my last movie. And, you know, all I can tell you, Marshall, is that things keep happening that just reinforce that. Nothing happens to actually make me back off and say, well, maybe I'll do another one next year. Nope. Got an email this morning from a good friend of mine who is got a very small part in the movie this Saturday. He sent me an email saying that he doesn't pretend to be an actor. He did it for fun. Uh, he read the part. He looked at it. So he surely agrees. Yeah, surely in the background. He's probably sort of squirrel. Um, there's no way he's playing the part. So it is literally four days before we're ready to shoot, and he opted out. So guess who's going to have to do that? You. You got it. There's nobody. Now where, how, am I supposed, where am I supposed to find somebody? How, how, how big of a part was it? Um, I would say, I would say um, the first, it's like divided into two, two portions. The first portion, there's about four lines, and, and they're divided apart. They're, you know, single lines. Right. So they're not like, you know, one after the other. And in the second part, um, there's about four lines, but it's a paragraph. That's it. So it's not much work at all. No, and that's why I'm really, really upset and angry. So, you know what? Later for it. That, you know what? I'll, I'll do it. I'll step in. I have no choice. Again, where, what, what do I want to do? Pick, get, get somebody, uh, uh, pick somebody into the thin air? No. So I'm going to have to, uh, I have no choice. Put the camera on a tripod, put it on a wide shot, and, and say good luck. Because I have nobody to do camera either. Amazing. So, this is just, you know, week, weekend after weekend, nothing but heartaches. Uh, and I don't need it. So, All right, like no. I said, just reinforcing my my uh, my thinking. Okay, so I want to go back to the hurricane now. Yes. Yes. I'm going to change my mind on that because uh, Hermione Gingold, I, I, I looked up the correct uh, spelling. Oh, okay. The correct spelling of it is H-E-R-M-I-O-N-E, Hermione. Oh, for Hermione. Hermione, okay. Herm Herm Hermione. So, okay. so, so I, I withdraw my 100% feeling that, it, that the hurricane's Hermione. I'll still leave a 50-50 chance that that's what the name is. But uh, do you remember Hermione Gingle at all? She was. I do, yeah. Kind of broad Isn't that funny that I do? An English actress. Uh, she was uh, basically. Uh, uh, she was a child actress who went on. Uh, and because her voice was. Something was wrong with her vo vocal cords. I forget what it was. Um, but she, came to she became a successful actress. Uh, and uh, Hermione Gingle. Yeah. <laughs> well, yeah, I'm looking at, you know the Hurricane Center um, chart, and they sometimes, you know, they, in parentheses, they put how you pronounce it, you know, phonetically, but they don't do that. They just have H-E-R-M-I-N-E, Hermine. Yes, Hermini, that. Hermini. Um, I, would Google, let's see if Google, um, how do you, pro, you know, Google may do it, pronounce H-E-R-M-I-N-E. How to say him any? Ready? Mm-hmm. Huh. I don't hear anything. Oh, I should it say does. I don't hear anything. Yes. Yeah. Me. No. The E at the end is sometimes silent when you just talk. The H is definitely silent. Hermine. 
Hermine. It'd be fine in English to say it as Hermine. Hermine. From Hermine. French. Hermine. And now you know. Here are more videos on how to pronounce more interesting. Hermine. The H is silent. Hermine. Okay. That's what Google says. Ermine. Okay. All right. Well, I do. I. I. I do. Uh, <laughs> I, I. 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 I take it. There we go. Ermine. Well, anyways, we we settled that. You know that. what? We could. We could. We could pronounce it any way we want. That's exactly we may right. just want to say it when and if they give it a name, and I, I'm sure it's going to be soon. We'll just say. Um, Hurricane H. How's there that? you go. You got it. Okay, P. We'll speak to you tomorrow. <laughs> Sounds good. <laughs> Goodbye. Bye-bye. I'm Papa Gano this morning in the Weather Center here on The Breakfast Club. Robin Hood Radio is WHDD AM and FM Sharon, WBSL FM Sheffield, and WLHV FM Annandale on Hudson.